Well, do you get nervous or even feel on edge in, in normal situations that never bothered you before? Do you ever get the sensation that you just can't breathe or you feel dizzy and you think your fears will push you over the edge? Barry McDonough says you could be suffering from panic attacks or general anxiety, and he should know. Barry suffered these same symptoms but learned how to overcome them. He's written a book and developed a program called Panic Away, how to end panic attacks and general anxiety fast. Barry joins us this morning as part of our book author series to talk about it. Hi, Barry. Hi. Great to be here. I'm glad that you're here with us because, you know, one of the things that we were talking about is you had your first panic attack when you were in college. That's right. But did you even know what it was? No, I had no idea. And the thing caught me off so guard because I had I'd never experienced anything like this before. I was feeling pounding heart, mm -hmm. tightness in the chest, dizzy f feelings and sensations. And I typically did what most people do is I didn't want to address the issue. I let it fester and it then spread into other areas. So it, it began where I couldn't sit in a lecture hall and then suddenly I couldn't drive or I didn't want to be far from home. Wow. And in extreme cases that becomes agoraphobia where a person doesn't actually leave their home. Mm. And so how did you overcome it? Well, I researched what was out there available and I found that a lot of the courses and treatment programs were only teaching people how to manage the anxiety and cope with the anxiety. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to end the problem. So I started developing my own approach because I knew the one key thing is that to end a fear, you have to face the fear. Um, and I developed an approach where a person would actually move into the anxiety rather than resist it. Because when we resist fear, it persists. But mm -hmm. when we accept it and move with it, it starts to transform. Is that where the idea then for the Panic Away DVD and program came from? Because one of the things you said is you said you kind of have to dive into the fear rather than resist it. For a lot of people, that's really tough because the first thing we want to do is, is flee, is, is get yeah. away from the fear, right? That's a person's in, uh, first initial reaction is to run from the panic. But the problem is, is that's when it starts persisting. That's when it leads into a longer term problem such as panic disorder. Because a panic disorder is when a person fears having another panic attack. So it becomes a fear of fear. And what I'm teaching people is that they need to go into that fear, embrace it, and move through it. Mm -hmm. And they will then process those emotions of fear. You talk about a lot of fears, different scenarios about fear in the book. You've got the fear of flying, the fear of driving, the fear of public speaking and how to cope. And you've got the two audio uh, CDs, you've mm -hmm. got the DVD that visually shows you how to cope. Explain some specifics. Specifically, yeah. how does it work? Yeah, let me give you a typical example. If somebody is having a panic attack, what I teach them is don't resist it, don't fight against it, but start to embrace it fully and start to move with the feelings and the emotions that you're feeling. Now, that's the first step. And then they do the crucial thing. They actually demand more. They demand more of those uncomfortable sensations. So if they're having um, palpitations, if they're having tightness of the chest, they should tell the anxiety to make it worse. Some people say, just bring it on, make mm -hmm. it worse, mm -hmm. because that mm -hmm. shatters the illusion that the panic attack holds of you. Because the key thing with panic attacks is that it threatens you with something that isn't real. A person is perfectly safe, but it holds this threat over you. And you've got to turn the tables on anxiety and actually demand more, and that shatters that illusion. And so what is the 21-7 technique that you use in the book? The 21-7 technique is ending a panic attack in 21 seconds flat and then reducing general anxiety in seven minutes. And that's the idea of the 21-7 technique. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the takeaway here there, then? Because I've got to tell you, there are so many um, DVDs, books, programs that claim to end panic attacks. What makes yours different? The core thing about Panic Away is, well, there's two things, in fact. The first is it's a very different approach. As I say, most approaches are about deep breathing, visualizations, or distraction techniques. That's all about managing and coping anxiety. Now, I said that didn't work for me, and it doesn't work for most people. Panic Away uses a very unique and different approach by moving into the fear. And the second thing is the speed of recovery. Panic Away works very fast. We've got lots and lots of success stories. Stay-at-home moms, policemen, firemen, even TV presenters who experience panic and anxiety too. Mm. And yeah. Mm, that worked for me, yeah. <laughs> and it's the same thing. They, they say, what one reading of Panic Away is better than years of therapy because it's going to the core of the problem. Mm -hmm. I find that to be very interesting because uh, for people who are suffering from general anxiety and panic attacks, they may they may feel like there's there's no way out, that this is going to be the way they're going to live for, forever. But one yeah. of the things you and I talked about off camera is they should know that they can get through this. Absolutely. And, and they should visit their doctor, obviously. But this is a technique that's worked for you and worked for countless other people, you say. Yeah. Um, if, if your viewers could take two things away from this, the first is that if you experience panic attacks or panic disorder, 
or even general anxiety disorder. Know that it's not a mental illness. Mm. This is a behavioral problem that can be corrected easily with the right information. That's really important to know because then it lets people know they can treat this and get over it. And the other thing to know is that a panic attack will not harm you. Most people are convinced that the panic attack will actually kill them. They're that scared oh, of it. Yeah. It has such a sense of foreboding and doom. But a panic attack is no different than a very vigorous physical workout. You've got the same sensations going on there. So when you can learn to be safe inside of a panic attack, that's when you end the fear of having another panic attack and hence end the panic disorder. Well, some good advice. Barry McDonough, thank you so much for being here with us and sharing your story as well. Thanks for having me here.